planographic printing. Planographic printing is a printing procedure in which the image is printed from a flat surface. This is chemically prepared in order to hold on to printing ink in places from which it is transferred on the paper. The process utilizes the property that water will not mix with oil. This technique was developed in 1789 by the German printmaker Aloys Sinifielder. In Mr. Sinifielder's day, lithography transferred the ink directly from the stone or plate to the substrate. Today, lithography is generally called offset or offset lithography. In this printing process, the image to be printed is rendered or etched onto a flat surface such as a sheet of aluminium, plastic or zinc. Next, the image is transferred to a rubber roller and then finally to the substrate. The principle of lithographic printing is simple. It is based on the elementary principle that oil and water do not mix. The printing plate consists of water receptive parts and ink receptive parts. The printing image itself is ink receptive. The non-printing parts are water receptive. In lithography, the plates have a roughened texture and are coated with a photosensitive or light sensitive emulsion. This emulsion is a suspension of two chemicals that cannot be mixed together. Plates are made one of two ways. Exposure from light source with film on top of the plate or using a machine that exposes the plate using lasers directly from the computer. Either way creates a photographic negative of the desired image, releases the emulsion and transfers a positive image to the emulsion. The emulsion is then chemically treated to remove the unexposed portions. This final step is similar to developing film at a photo lab process. In the offset printing process, the printing and non-printing areas of the plate are practically on one level. The printing areas of the printing plate are oleophilic. The non-printing areas of the printing plate are hydrophilic. The dampening system covers the non-printing areas of the printing plate with a thin film of dampening solution. This dampening solution or water plus additives spreads over the non-printing areas. To achieve good wetting, surface tension has to be reduced by means of dampening solution additives. If it is reduced too much, it can result in emulsification. Printing plates the plates used in offset printing are thin and easy to mount on the plate cylinder. A hydrophilic layer used in the printing plate substrate is required to have both a high degree of hydrophilicity for forming a uniform thin water membrane and a wear resistance for withstanding stress. A uniform microscopically roughened structure on the surface causes an increase in the specific surface area. This arrangement ensures further improvement in the water retentivity of the highly hydrophilic metallic oxide layer. Printing ink. Offset ink is classified into two types namely wet type and dry type. Wet type is again classified as ink for sheet fed printing which is again classified as offset ink that is for paper, metal ink for letterpress plate and metal, UV ink and digital ink. Second type is ink for rotary press, which is again classified as heat set ink, newspaper ink, cold set ink, UV hardening ink. Again, dry type offset ink is classified into waterless or dry offset. The ink used in offset printing is usually a highly viscous mixture having the basic components of ink pigment, vehicle or binder, additives and carrier substance. The pigments determine the hue of the printing ink. Vehicles or binders are needed to bind the pigment which is supplied in powder form to the substrate. They also form a protective film around the pigments so that they are protected from mechanical abrasion. The composition of the vehicles depends on the printing technologies and substrates to be used. 
The vehicles used in the production of printing ink are also called varnishes. Additives can be mixed into the ink to achieve specific properties and to overcome specific printing problems. Mineral oils are used as carrier substances for offset inks. They fulfill the function of transporting the ink and are removed again in the drying process. Conventional offset inks dry by absorption, evaporation and depending on the type of ink, oxidation. In addition to these most commonly used inks, there are inks that cure by radiation cross-linking. The structure of these inks is completely different from the conventional ink. UV inks are available for both conventional with dampening solution and waterless offset printing application. It would be difficult to create a complete list of the applications of offset printing. If something needs to be printed, offset printing can do it. Newspapers are probably the most visible example of offset printing that is a part of everyone's life. Books are another application of offset printing without which life would simply not be the same. Whether for education or entertainment, books are the life source of many a people and they have offset printing to thank for making books affordable. Large volumes of legal forms and documents are printed using offset printing. Offset printing is used for printing flyers, brochures, PR material and a host of other marketing applications. 